Heading in the final round of last year's ATD National Motocross Championship, Joel Hedrick was on a mission. At Loretta Lynn's ranch, he got out front early, and the math and points were totally pointing in the direction of a number one plate for the 88. And while others had bad luck, Hedrick was sealing the deal on what had slipped away from him far too many times. The Moto win allowed him to clinch the title. And then Moto 2, icing on the cake, getting around his main rivals and putting his Yamaha into the lead to end the season on an emphatic 1-1 sweep. While well, his competitors face their share of bad luck, they'll have to use it for motivation because this time Hedrick doesn't want to give that number one plate up. After celebrating last year, he's ready to defend it this year. The 2023 season awaits, coming up next, starting with the Daytona ATV Supercross. Yes, welcome to Daytona Bike Week. We'll conclude with this, the 2023 ATV Supercross, which is the kickoff to this year's ATV Motocross Championship. Always great to be here at the World Center of Racing. This event running conjunction with Vintage Supercross. It's our man, Randy Richardson on the old Husqvarna. And then we roll out the ATVs. They'd probably want the full Supercross track from the pro race on Saturday, but they'll have to make do with the bikes out there as well. And we got a lot of new faces in the pro ranks for this season. That'll be fun to watch. And it'll always be interesting to see if anyone can finally break through and get up there with Chad Wienan and Joel Hetrick, who have been the traditional champions of this series going on a decade now. But we've seen so much young talent the last couple of years. Are they rounding into championship level form? Well, we'll talk to a few of them here to try to get the lay of the land and how the offseason went. We'll start with Brandon Hogue, who went from off the couch to third in the series in 2022. Coming out here to Daytona, I usually actually like this place. The racing's a little bit different, so it kind of evens it up for all of us, but coming off of a third last year, I'm excited to get this year started. I want to try to start it a little bit better than last and uh, see what we can do, try to get a good start and see how the day unfolds. And Hogue had a great run going here last year until equipment problems ended it. Chad Wiener, the eight-time champ, still a contender for title number nine. Man, it's a beautiful day. We're, uh, we're here in Florida. 80 degrees, it's been a great off season. Uh, just looking forward to getting this party started. We have a gate drop here today and I've just, just been kind of like doing my thing, riding, a lot of good beach time. The weather's been great with the family. So I'm looking forward to getting our racing started today and uh, see what kind of result we get. All right, let's turn it up here in qualifying on Mav TV, and we'll show you what this super cross track looks like for the ATV set. And this always lends itself to some pretty good racing as well. But right now, it's not about passing, it's about lap times. There is Hedrick. <laughs> a little more traditional look. Last year, this Phoenix racing team had all sorts of different looks. Now, he's just got the traditional Yamaha blue. And there's the other blue machine with Wienan. Um, back to the number 44 after being number one last year. Bryce Ford, always quick, waiting on wins for a lot of these riders. Like Hogue, who we talked to earlier. There's Jeffrey Rastrelli, veteran of that group. Always fighting those kids back for podium positions. Nick Janusa, kind of the same situation there. Logan Stanfield in the 55. Max Linquist handling the tight stuff on this Supercross layout here. Zach Decker on the 23. And this is Kevin Saar from Estonia, the champion over there. Like I said, a lot of new faces this year. That's cool. Here's Hogue dialing in the uh, track here at Daytona. This is Cody Ford on the 5. I love that move. That's a scrub on an ATV to not over jump that jump. Vincent Merman hitting the whoops on his 535. Michael Allred on the eight. And I'll show you the rookie here, Aaron Salinas on the seven. Dane Molander, another rookie. He's on the old school Suzuki. Zach Harris coming through. This is Adam Ulrich. Another Suzuki right there. That was Marshall Smith. And John Glauda pounding through the whoops. It's gonna be Hedrick Ford at Wien in top three. We're ready for racing. ATV Motocross on Mav TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires.
Welcome back to Daytona International Speedway. Jason Wygant, your host, Racer TV, presenting the 2023 ATV Supercross. We'll show you a little more of the vintage racing here, more modern bikes, and then our, our boy Randy Richardson showing the 70s machines. And then we had a couple ATV classes out here. We're going to concentrate on the pros today. Oop. And it is a little challenging sometimes getting up on the Supercross berms and through the first turns. We'll have the full gamut of classes at the rest of the rounds this year, but here, the focus really just on the number one, who wants to finally be able to defend this thing, Joel Hetrick. Super pumped to be here. The weather's great. Track looks awesome. Uh, feeling really good. We got a new look on this Yamaha. I think it looks pretty trick. Uh, same everything, you know, with the program. We, we didn't change very much at all. Coming off last year, one of my best seasons ever. I was like, don't change that bike, man. It, it works so good. So same base. Uh, we got some new help with tuning. Yeah, we're looking to just come out of here safe. Obviously, top of the podium is the goal. I'm really looking forward to Gainesville that's next. We haven't been there, shoot, for, for me, it's been 15 years. So I think I did the math, and, and that's what it was. So it'll be cool to go back there and have a new venue, uh, as well as some other races, too. We got a really good schedule, and I'm super happy to start this 23 season. It's funny to see the old Phoenix Honda team now completely converted to Yamaha, got the blue colors, and it could be a Yamaha slugfest with Wienan in the mix today as well. Now, here at the Supercross, we divided it into two heat races and then a main. So, Wienan's on the gate here. Hetrick will be in heat two. And we're underway for the 2023 season. And Bryce Ford has your first pole shot of the year. And Wienan immediately to the inside. That was not a good move for Ford. It's inside, inside for Wienan. And he's quickly into the lead. And Jeffrey Rastrelli has gotten around him as well. So, things happening in a hurry. That's Michael Allred back there in fourth. Love hearing the crowd. And they like this battle right now. Ford wants another piece of Rastrelli, and Rastrelli is going with Wienan. Then it's Allred, then Max Linquist, a couple years into his pro career now, looking for a breakthrough this season. Love hearing the fan response. Now, Wienan, as he goes through these whoops, from Galena, Illinois, but he spends his winters, oh man, about five miles from here up LPGA Boulevard in Florida. So he's familiar with this soil. Ah, oh, Vincent Merman flips his machine. And that's what makes this track tough. It's obviously the Supercross not as wide as the traditional motocross track. It's good if you're in the groove, but it is not if you go over one of those berms or hit a tough block as Rostrelli and Ford keep fighting it out for second. Oh, little mistake there from Estrella. He clipped, clipped that tabletop, and that's going to allow Ford to fight his way to the inside. Get the wheels back on the ground and driving, and the young man from Texas back in the second as Wienan has checked out. It was not a good race for Wienan last year. It's usually the opposite. He's been very good at Daytona, and usually Hedrick is the one that has the bad luck, but Hedrick flipped that last year and held it all the way throughout the season to win the title. We got Logan Stanfield and Cody Ford now moving up, making a top five battle as Wienan is just looking to finish this off and win the first heat race of the year. And then we'll stack everyone together. Oh, and Molander has lit his quad on fire. We hear the head pipe came off. And then the heat has started to do damage, and that is that old Suzuki, man. Just hate to see that happen to any machine, but you don't want to see those Suzukis. You can't buy those anymore. Well, Molander, wow, that's a great uh, welcome to the pro ranks in his rookie season. In any season, it often looks like this. White flag and then checkers going to Chad Wien and out front and winning the first heat race of the year, Ford over Rastrelli. That is your first heat. We go to heat two. So a Hogue there, and there is the number one of Hetrick. Janusa out of New Jersey ready as well. Here we go. And Hetrick with the whole shot. Got that Phoenix Racing Power working for him. I think that's Hogue in the mix. Hogue was so fast, led a lot of laps of this race last year. And Hetrick, originally out of Pennsylvania, now listed as uh, Salisbury, North Carolina, moved down there. That's where his team is based out of. 
and he's starting to roll away from Hogue. This will be a good test. This is what we've been waiting for the last couple of seasons. Riders like Hogue and Ford, who you saw in that previous heat, Max Lindquist, waiting to see if these guys can close the speed gap and get to Wienan and Hedrick and start challenging them consistently for wins. There's Kevin Saar, we mentioned, and Aaron Salinas. Saar coming from Estonia, Salinas a rookie. And joining the ranks, along with Hogue and Januso, been at this for a bit. Oh man, Hetrick looks better than ever right now as he gets away from this group. Hetrick's got it dialed as he hits that wall jump. There's Hogue. Clicking it off here on the infield of Daytona International Speedway. Great place to come on down for spring break here in early March. You not only have the great Florida weather, but so many things to see and do. Ah, Marshall Smith on his Suzuki having his problems. Be kind to those Suzuki's people. That uh, machine has a lot of history behind it. Chad Weenan used to race it back when Suzuki had a factory team out here. There's the pit board for Hetrick. He is gone, folks. And time running out. Just going through the motions, probably worked on a couple of lines and figured out exactly where this track will be come main event time. Janusa has lost a little bit of touch with Hogue. And now the last lap here on Mav TV. You don't even hear anybody behind Hetrick right now. Checkered flag in sight. And this season's going to begin just the way Hedrick wants it. He's had bad luck at Daytona before. So far, so good today as he wins heat race number two. Januso over Saar, Decker, and Glauda. Now main event time. And it's going to be interesting. Brandon Hogue, by the way, only finished eighth in that heat after the good start. See if he can recover. And then it'll be a battle between our winners of the heats in the main next. ATV Supercross from Daytona. Let's show you the Pro Sport main event before we get ready for our pro race. Boom! Big pumping off of the line as he try to fit all these ATVs into one Supercross track. Early leader is Joseph Chambers, a native of Florida, out front early. By the way, consider the Cedar class into the pro ranks. These kids are pretty quick too. Blair Miller, Jaden Launderville, and Brett Music battled here. This is Miller and Launderville just going at it on the tabletops, and the on-offs. Launderville would fight back and then keep charging. Then he catches Chambers, the leader, who had held the point at every lap until this goes over the falls. And there is Launderville to take the lead. Persistence pays off and the win. Jaden Launderville out of Wisconsin, your pro sport winner. Miller and the veteran Music come through next, and Keith Hanna and Dominic Noble, that would be the top five. Tough break for Chambers, and now we get ready for the main event. And yes, they do use the NASCAR victory lane for our classes. There's Ho getting ready. Ford brothers look quick in their heat races, Cody and Bryce. And of course, the traditional championship battle renewed. Let's go. And that's what you want to see if you're a Joel Hedrick fan. He's had so much bad luck at Daytona before, but he gets to control it from the front with the whole shot. I think that's Ford right behind him on the four and Weenan in third. Oh, Salinas end over end. The newcomer to the pro ranks down hard on the number seven. I hope he's okay. Into the whoops. Look at Weenan back there in third. Trying to set himself up on the inside of Ford. Can't quite get there. And I think that's Jeffrey Rastrelli quickly to fourth. So a lot of big hitters up front early, but that was incredible. Looked like a monster truck just nailing that section for your leader, Hetrick, as Ford and Weenan continue to battle. Hetrick is on fire right now. Wow. And there you see the gap. Now, I remember Weenan getting very aggressive last year looking to make passes, and that is a risk and reward calculation at Daytona as he gets to the inside. That could be it right there. Bumping wheels with Ford, exactly what I was talking about. 
have to get aggressive on this tight racetrack, and he did it, and he did it early enough. As good as Hedrick is going, he does not yet have a huge lead, so Weenan has an opportunity to try to reel him in. And year after year, we talk about the youngsters coming up, and year after year, Weenan and Hedrick show they're willing to fight them off. Let's see if anyone can keep pace. And Ford's going for it. So is Rastrelli. Oh, lap traffic having their problems. Good thing for Hedrick that he wasn't there a little too early. Man, Brandon Hogue has had his problems today. The bad heat race, now trouble in the main. He must have had a crash. There's no way on speed that he's back in 14th place. Last year's rider third in the series. It looks like Hedrick has answered. Pulling back away from Weenan. And Weenan gave it a run for about two laps, but Hedrick just too quick today. Look at that. Leaping into the corner. Oh, we got a collision there. Decker on the 23. And I believe that was Molander. Remember, his machine was on fire in the heat race. So, well, good job getting back out there, but then more bad luck in the main. You check him with a couple of other, other rookies going through there. Here is Hetrick. I'll give you the top five. It's Hetrick over Weenan. They got Ford Rastrelli. Saar is running in fifth. That is great. Again, the rider out of Estonia. And then Janusa, I think, is back there as well. There's Ford trying to keep winning honest. Then the 28 of Rastrelli. Oh, and Janusa made the move. You see, nice pass on the board. Logan Stanfield moving up as well. So Saar has been zapped by a couple riders. Still a good effort by him. We'll be right back with more. ATV Motocross on MAV TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires. Joel Hetrick leading the way with a big margin here at the ATV Supercross at Daytona. And he's got it under control here, got that whole shot. He's had a couple of seasons at this event where he didn't get the start, took some risks to make passes. And you give him an open track, look at those skills. That to him probably isn't even risky. Wesley Wolf out. Oh, that is fluid coming out of the engine. That's bad. Chad Wayne all alone in second, so he's winning the battle. Oh, Brandon Hogue problems again. Well, I got to use the word disaster for how his season has started. Not even going to get top 10 points today for a rider that would like to battle for this title. But anything that can go wrong has gone wrong. They're trying to get the machine back on the track. Maybe he can salvage some points in a couple positions. Shout out to Ford with a good run in third. Rastrelli here with the orange jersey in fourth. And Janus has climbed to fifth, but no challenging Joel Hetrick who is as fast and talented as they've ever been in this business. Marshall Smith, we've seen this happen to him too many times in this race. Lots of lap traffic, a shorter track when you have a Supercross compared to a Motocross. So Hedrick's got to be careful picking his way through. A lot of these guys probably tired. They're not going to fight him. Hedrick nailing those whoops again down on the pit lane area of Daytona, now headed toward the apron of the actual high banks. Through the S-turns. And there it is, final lap for Hetrick to start the season exactly how he wants it. Too many times he's had to play catch up and then run risks the entire season with very little margin for error because that's the thing about Weenan, he leaves you zero airspace almost always on the podium. But this is just an incredible ride for Joel Hetrick. And he's not going to rush it through this lap traffic. He has it under control. Joel Hetrick of the Phoenix Racing Yamaha squad dialed in. There is second place, Chad Weenan. But the win at Daytona goes to Joel Hetrick. No changes there, late Ford, Rastrelli, Janusa, top five, Logan Stanfield, sixth. There are the trophies, like I said, the victory lane at Daytona and the champagne. 
This guy's happy. I got second in my heat race today. Um, felt super confident going into the main. Got a really good start. Started behind Joel and uh, just really followed his pace. And then Chad ended up passing me. And um, I just rode in con third consistently. Uh, super excited for this year and just really motivated to keep going. Can't wait to get to the next track and, and see what we can do. Hopefully get back up on the podium. Uh, just making it happen for me. Had a good, had uh, had decent starts. Just uh, that that front position was really really crucial. So we uh, we had to dig a little bit those first couple laps. But man, all in all, a good day. We're safe. Heading to Gator back here in a couple weeks. So we're gonna enjoy this uh, second place and we're gonna dig in and see if we can. Uh, get one step up from here. Man, what a start to the 23 season. I felt unstoppable today, and uh, I think that showed. Both hole shots in my races, and uh, just put down some heater laps and pulled a gap, and, and just kept pulling, I felt like, man. I just, the whoops felt really good for me. The quad was dialed in so good, and you know I felt like unstoppable. I'm just happy to start the 23 season like that. I know we got a long way to go, and I'm gonna keep working hard and uh, work for that goal that we want. See you guys at Gatorback. Quick recap here, courtesy CST. Tires, riders off the track. That's a tradition here as we try to fit these ATVs through turn one and then end over end. That was Aaron Salinas. Hedrick into the lead. Ford in second early. Hedrick with riding like that started to pull away. Here's the challenge. Weenan closing in on Ford and then gets aggressive up the inside after the whoops. They bump and bang wheels and that allows Weenan to get the second. You see the gap that he had to try to make up on Hedrick, but no one was going to make that up. Hedrick, as he said, feeling unstoppable, and it's hard to argue with that. Nick Janusa would make some moves to get up around the top five. Wesley Wolf, machine expired here, spilling fluid here at Daytona. Tough day for Hogue, great day for Hedrick. Marshall Smith having his problems, and there it is, the checkered flag. No further questions, Your Honor, for Joel Hedrick, who wins the opener. Wien and Ford Vestrilli, Janusa, Stanfield, Linquist, Decker, Saar, and John Glauda round out the top 10. For everyone at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wigand. Thanks for watching and congrats to Joel Hetrick.